Hi, I'm Mrs. Virginia Sheldrake. I just want to tell you a bit about myself, really. Um, before I came into teaching, before I started my teaching career, I worked for a year at the Lambeth Council in the Housing Department. And then uh, after qualifying as a teacher, I worked in London schools for three years, came down to Hastings, worked at Helensburgh for a number of years, also worked at Clapham in Battle. And after I left um, Helensburgh in 2014, um, I was then assistant principal. I went on to work as an educational charity for the Education Futures Trust. I've also worked as a chaperone at Glyndebourne Off the Company. I was very excited to come back into schools um, a year or so ago. I missed teaching the A level chemistry, although I had done some tutoring in it over the years. And um, I'm, I've picked up some lovely, lovely groups and I'm really enjoying doing it. My hobbies I live on a small holding, so I've got lots of animals, but sheep and goats, and ducks, and chickens, and horses, and dogs, and cats, and bees, which takes a lot of my time up, um, and also I do a lot of yoga, and I enjoy creative writing. Thank you. Hi, my name is Miss Hargreaves, and I'm the other teacher that's taken chemistry A-level. At school, I did chemistry, biology, maths A-levels, with also French AS. Um, I love travelling straight after school, I was an au pair in Spain for a summer and taught a family some English. I went on to do chemical engineering at Sheffield University, um, which was really great. And I spent most of my time in the kayak club. Um, I was in the committee organising kayaking events. I also did lots of climbing and walking with the Mountaineering Society. My other jobs have included, I did Camp America for a summer and I was the water sports instructor there. Chemistry is sometimes called the central science because it bridges physics with other natural sciences such as geology and biology. Chemistry is the study of matter and its properties. So that's everything on Earth. As you go through the course, you can see the beauty in all the connections underpinned by the map of the periodic table. It truly is a very exciting subject. Chemistry has transferable skills. Maths, research, analysis, problem solving, synthesis, to name just a few. It has a high currency. Universities like chemistry A-level, whether you're mixing it with other sciences or with art subjects. It demonstrates that you have developed a lot of skills that are needed in lots of different types of employment. And most importantly, chemistry will help you with those pointless questions on pointless to help you get a pointless answer. Chemistry is so interesting to study, so it makes sense that the associated career opportunities are also exciting and varied. So, to name but a few, material science and engineering is a fast evolving field. We can make so many new and exciting materials from biodegradable plastics, to super comfortable and lightweight sports clothes, to concrete and roads which can react and fill cracks as they appear. Biomaterials also really interest me, such as synthetic skin grafts or non-metallic bone replacements or scaffolds. Drug and vaccine development relies on chemists and biochemists to study their transport, absorption and action in the body to make the most highly effective treatments. Perfume and cosmetics, the food industry and brewing also rely on chemists who can be involved in the safety and quality control or in the research and development of new products, such as new Ben and Jerry's flavours, a longer lasting perfume or vegan alternatives. Environmental chemists sample and analyse in varied places such as the ocean, the North Pole, rainforests and sewage works. They play a key role in keeping our land, water and air minimally contaminated, making sure that the consumerists' lives that we unfortunately lead cause the least possible damage. So why study at Arc Alexandra? Well, I worked at Helensburg for many, many years and I have very fond uh, memories and a lot of affection for Helensburg and for working in Hastings. And so when I was coming back into school, it was an obvious choice for me. It's a very special sixth form. There's excellent pastoral care. Students are really well looked after and supported with any needs they have. 
the classes are small, which means you get lots of attention from your teachers, and it means the work is, is marked regularly. We haven't got several A-level classes to have to worry about, just the one for each year group. And why chemistry? Well, chemistry is taught by experienced and well-qualified teachers who are passionate about chemistry. We love it, and we want you to love it too. The labs are well equipped, and we have the support of experienced lab technicians, so that, and they're actually experienced in prep for A-level chemistry. So we're all set up for delivering a good A-level chemistry course. Chemistry is subdivided into three disciplines. Physical chemistry is all about how fast reactions happen, how much product you get, and the energy changes involved. We gain a deeper understanding of why reactions act the way they do and quantify these changes using calculations. Organic chemistry explores the diversity and interconnectedness of carbon-based compounds which form the building blocks of biochemistry. Finally, inorganic chemistry examines the trends of the periodic table. We see how all chemical reactions follow set characteristic patterns. Practical investigation is an important part of the course and practical skills will contribute 15% of marks in the exam. Year one of your study starts right back at the basics with atomic structure and bonding, incorporating more complex ideas gradually. And at the end of the first year, you have the option to take the AS exam, but that's up to you. At the end of the second year, the A-level exam consists of three two-hour exams.